Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to couple your Foldscope to your cell phone using magnetic couplers. This is useful because it lets you document your images uh, taken with your microscope, and it can even let you project your uh, microscope images onto a surface. Now, the materials that you need for this tutorial is one cell phone, uh, and you should take off the case first so that you can get the couplers as close as possible. You'll need the two magnetic couplers, one silver to go on your phone and one black to go on the Foldscope. You'll need one assembled Foldscope and you may want to watch the tutorial that shows you how to install the light module. You'll need one strip of double-sided tape to stick the couplers onto your phone. And you'll also need one pre-prepared slide. In this first step of coupling our phone to our Foldscope, we're going to attach one of the magnetic strips to our phone. You can see that I've already taken off the case of my phone because we want to get the strip as close to the camera as possible so that it won't restrict our field of view. So um, we have two strips, one silver and one black, and we're going to set the black strip aside and attach the silver strip to our phone. We can do this by using the double stick tape that's been provided to us, or you can provide your own double stick tape to do so. So when attaching the strip to our phone, the taped side is going to be the one that attaches to the phone, so that the two bumps are going to be facing outwards away from your camera. So I'm going to take two pieces of double stick tape and place one on each side over the magnet. Now make sure that zoom in. Make sure that the tape does not overlap with the hole in the middle or else it will obstruct your view and you won't be able to get a good image. So I'm going to go ahead and place my second piece of tape on the other side. And there we go. Now you want to line it up so that the hole is perfectly centered with your camera. So I'm going to peek at this to make sure that I do a good job. Okay. And then firmly attach it. Now we can check to see if it's in the center by opening up our camera and if we can see through the camera, which we can, then it means that we did a good job and it isn't in the way. Now we need to assemble our black magnetic strip to our fold scope. The first step is to remove the lens because it's difficult to insert it while the lens is attached. So we need these two bumps where the magnets are to be sticking up through this hole and this hole. So again, the side with the tape is going to be facing um, the fold scope and the bumps are going to be facing outwards. So first, make sure these holes are at the top and insert the strip through. And you can go a little further than you need to. And then we're going to want to insert the other edge through the other slit. And then keep pushing until this pocket is aligned with the hole and then it should be aligned on the other side as well. You can double check yourself um, because the hole in the center should be aligned with the rest of the fold scope. Now, we can take our low magnification lens and poke it back through. But this time, it should poke through 
the hole in the lens stage, but it should also poke through the hole in the magnetic strip. And you'll know that it worked if it stays. And there we go. Okay, now that we've attached the magnetic strips to both our phone and the fold scope, we can begin to take pictures with our phone using the fold scope. So, I went ahead and attached the light module, which you may or may not know how to do yet. Um, if you want to learn how to do it, you can check our next tutorial. Um, but it's necessary for um, taking images using your phone. So first, let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see that it's on because it's shining a light. And as you can see, I've suspended my phone um, off the table. I actually taped it to the table so that it wouldn't fall. Um, this makes it much easier to take images with it. So both of uh, the couplers should be aligned. So all we should have to do is place it near, um, place our foldscope near the phone, and it should snap into place and be aligned. And as you can see, we can see um, our sample now. So I picked a random slide from the closet. This one happens to be a tissue sample of an intestine. So we can pan around and we actually get really good detail. Uh, we can focus the same way we focused before by pulling apart or pushing apart. And actually, it's almost in focus when I just hold it here. So all I have to do is move it up and down and that changes the tension. And we can pan. Oh, froze. Okay. And we can also take advantage of, take advantage of the phone's uh, features. So there's a bit of a glare now. You can take advantage of the phone's features by actually using manual zoom, sorry, uh, digital zoom to zoom in on features that we want to see, as well as image enhancement, um, maybe to change the saturation or colors and give you better contrast. Um, so you can take images, but it's also maybe best to take video. Uh, so I'm taking a video right now because that allows you to put the sample in and out of focus and you don't have to worry about taking um, the image and making sure, or multitasking. <laughs> but if you do want to take a still image, what you can do is you can set your timer. Um, so you'll press the button and then put it in focus and it'll count down and then take the picture. And that's perfect for posting on social media or on our website. So there you go. That's me using the Foldscope with my phone. So the magnetic strips also serve another purpose, which is to allow for projection microscopy. What this means is you can use the flashlight on your phone to actually project the image that you're seeing so that other people can see it as well. We can do this by first removing the magnetic strip from the front. Don't forget to replace your lens or else you won't be able to see anything. And placing it on the back instead of the light module. So let's remove the light module. So again, we can take our strip of double-sided tape, or we could use our own. And put tape on the back of the black strip this time, over the magnets, but make sure not to obstruct the hole in the center. And tape it so that the hole in the center is aligned with the hole on your fold scope. Zoom in for you. 
The finished product should look like this. Now, we're going to take the strip off of the camera and we're going to move it on to the flash. So you can see an LED right here. And we're going to center this hole around this LED. Like that. So there's an app, apps that you can download on your phone, which allow you to turn your flashlight on and off. So when we attach the fold scope, oh. so when we attach the fold scope and turn it on, the flash will now be shining through our sample. So there's a lot of lighting here, so it's difficult to see. You may not be able to see it at all, but um, there is an image being projected onto the table. Uh, and it may work with some phones and it may not work with other phones, but you should definitely give it a try just to see if you can show your friends the same sample that you can see. Thank you for watching this tutorial on using the Foldscope with your phone. I hope that if you take any interesting images using your phone and the Foldscope, that you'll post them on www.foldscope.com for us and the rest of the world to see. You can watch our next video, which will show you how to install the light module as well as use the high magnification lens.